Good morning. It's been a while since I've had a contest where you have to guess something and then you stand a chance of winning. I have uh, had the inkling to do that again, and I'm going to combine it with a set of questions that I've been receiving through my, my, my Gmail and also texting and a comment or two on my YouTube video regarding this ball and my footed shafts. Now, most of them had centered around which part, the fore shaft or the main shaft, do you put the the chisel, um, the chisel thingamajigger, the chisel shape? And I agree. You probably should put the chisel shape on the main shaft and not the fore shaft. And I'm not claiming to be an expert on footed shafts. I can make them, um, but that's probably correct. A friend of mine, Warpath Archery, also mentioned that I'm not making my chisel long enough, which completely agree. Because I, I've been steaming mine just to keep that splay from breaking, and I wouldn't have to do that if I made my chisel longer. So, point one, probably should have the chisel on the main shaft, and you should make the chisel longer. Um, I'm fine with that. I don't mind being corrected because that's how you learn. And if you're in the business of bows and arrows, making them yourself, absolutely be willing to make a mistake. Don't be like that, that cat that falls off a table and then walks away pretending, I did that on purpose. Uh-uh. Nope. I completely admit, and I'm good with knowing that I don't know everything. It's wonderful. I would hate to think that I'm at the end of my journey. All right. Now, before I get into the contest, I want to mention this. I will probably never sell this, this bow or a bow like it. I've got various reasons I'm not going to get into that, but I will. I will be making half limb templates of this and giving it out. Nothing should be easy. Nothing should be easy. So if you want something like this, you're going to have to make it. Now this is a, a beautiful combination of design, um, proportions, and materials. Red oak, and this is, this is thin, look how thin those limbs are, and they're rounded. If it wasn't sinew bag, it would probably be a 30 pound bow. Red oak, yeah, it's not the best bow wood in the world, people say, but apparently in combination with the wide, thin limbs, the massy finish, which just very well might give some stability as far as compression and sinew. Oh, it's an amazing bow. It is 58 inches knock to knock, and I am drawing it 27 inches. I am drawing this red oak board bow half its work half its length. It's not even working length because it's a non-bending handle. Um, and so that is that. Templates, which will also include, I don't know if I'm going to incorporate it in a template or whatnot, cross sections to the best of my ability. And also, because everything is hitting on all eight cylinders here, a template for the, the bending form for the recurves, just so you have the zero done. That I will offer a finished bowl just like this, no. Okay, now on with the contest. There are two parts of this contest, and it has to do with the footed shaft, shaft strength. The first part, and this is what you will win. I do believe that this is an actual native arrow point. Now, don't quote me on this. I am, as Monk would say, 87% sure. I have a grouping of arrowheads in my arrowhead box. I must look good for this video production. And they're in little tiny plastic Ziploc bags. And occasionally, over the years, the Sharpie that indicates where they came from and whatever the region has worn off. So I don't know. It may be or it may be not. But part one, in order to win this fantastic point, you need to identify it. I'm going to put it right up there. So you need to be able to tell me what or where this came from. What peoples made an arrowhead in this shape? 
part one. I'll just hold this up so you can study it. Take a, a screenshot of that. I just learned how to do that. I'm very proud. I know how to make take screenshots. Okay, part one. You need to be able to identify this arrowhead. Research is important. Second of all, what I'm going to do is I'm currently making, using the same shaft, the same geometry, everything. It'll be just like this one with the chisel on the fore shaft. It's going to have a field point on it. It's going to have black feathers because the field pointed arrows will not have this. They will have black feathers. I'm going to take my arrow that I made in two days. I'm going to give you a chance to think about this. So today is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Oh, uh, if I can pry it from the frozen ground, a cinder block or two. I will set it up, cinder block stack, stack of cinder blocks. And from 15 yards, taking this bow, I will drive that arrow into the cinder blocks. And so your guessing game is, how many times can I drive that arrow into the cinder blocks without it breaking? or bad things happening, probably one and the same. And so, part one, identify this arrowhead. Part two, how many times can I drive my arrow into a cinder block without it failing? I don't necessarily want to waste an arrow, so I'm gonna do it up till six. So you can say one, two, three, four, five, maxing out. And then I will retire that arrow from killing cinder blocks and just use it for rolling, stump shooting. So that is the game. That is the puzzle. That is the mystery of my footed shafts. They are popular, not unpopular, just popular dolls I bought at a hardwood, hardware store. That is all. Win an arrowhead. You can do it. You can do it. In case of a tie, I should say, I will throw in another arrowhead. In case of a tri-tie, I will throw in another two arrowheads. Dealer's choice. Have a good one. Good luck. That is your assignment, Mr. Phelps.